Well, Chris and I are nearing the end of our four-month trip through Ontario, Quebec, Greece, and Italy. So here are our lessons learned and what we would do differently next time. First lesson, we would go through the cost and hassle of getting an international driver's license. We actually didn't regret this decision until we arrived in Kalamata. When we were touring in Athens and taking side trips to the ruins of Delphi, the Temple of Poseidon, and the Meteora Rocks in Kalambaka, or visiting Rome and Sorrento, we relied on buses and trains. But here in Kalamata, there are only a few limited buses, so it's hard for us to see the sites that aren't in the immediate area. Having an international driver's license so we could rent a car would have made things a lot easier. And to go along with our international driver's license, we would learn or relearn how to drive stick. Rental cars here are a lot easier to get if you're okay to drive a manual transmission. So to keep our options open, we'd practice our stick driving skills so we'd be more confident driving on foreign roads. Lesson number three, we need to pack our hiking bladders. When we were in Taiwan a few years ago, we were getting ready to hike up Yushan only to find our hiking bladders had somehow gone moldy. So we had to switch to water bottles at the last minute. Ever since then, we've been using water bottles on our hikes when we're abroad. But really, water bottles don't compare at all to hiking bladders. Lesson number four, we need to pack more power adapters. When we're abroad, we need power adapters to be able to plug in and recharge all of our electronics. Having just one or two is not enough. We want to be able to charge our laptops in the living room and our phones by our bed. It's a pain to have to keep moving them, so we need to pack a few more next time we travel. And speaking of power adapters, next time we also want to bring a spare phone and buy a SIM card. We planned on buying a SIM card on this trip, but then somehow never got around to it. It's so much easier to have a local SIM card and number rather than relying on Wi-Fi or paying expensive overseas roaming cell charges. And we would also get a third cheap phone for the SIM card with hotspot capabilities so we can keep our existing SIM cards in our phones to keep using services like iMessage on our Canadian phone numbers. Next lesson, we will look for, buy, and pack clothes that are a lot lighter and that dry a lot faster. If you've been watching our channel, you know that Chris and I are all about minimalist travel. On our next trip, we want to reduce the amount we're carrying even more by packing lighter clothing. And we also want our lighter clothing to be made from fabric that dries really quickly so we can do some hand washing at night, hang to dry, and then have them ready to go the next morning. Next lesson, having tons of flexibility because the train, bus, and ferry schedules might not be what you think they are. I actually think we did a pretty good job at this, but I want us to continue to remember not to have too tight a schedule because the trains, buses, and ferries may not always arrive at the advertised time. Next up is we need to improve our ability to watch TV when we're at an Airbnb. At an Airbnb, we like to use our laptops while having the TV on in the background. We pack a small Windows 10 device so that we can watch Netflix, YouTube, and other streaming shows on the TV that comes with the apartment. But it doesn't seem to be working as well as we'd hoped, so we need to figure out a better solution. Next lesson. I actually think we did this pretty well, but we can continue to improve on it is that we need to download local maps and transportation schedules before we get there, just in case there's no internet available to us. And that's our list of lessons learned for our trip. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more unconventional, minimalist travel adventures.